in mathematics. Of course, in order for us to get the information, we will have the arguments of the inductive and the deductive. So, nakakadali lang siya tinitingin because our reasoning is based on inductive. When we say inductive, it is reasoning based on a set of observation. In short, this is from a specific observation going to general observation. So, it is a simply specific example na kukunglood tayo into the general information. While the inductive, it is the reasoning based on facts. Of course, there is the general, then magiging specific tayo at the end of the reasoning. Okay? So, let's have an example of both kind of reasoning. Now, let's start on inductive. Again, we will say inductive from a specific to general. So, this is the example. Every quiz, okay, from the word every quiz, this is a specific, meron pa specific na sinasabi quiz, has been easy. Madali daw ang quiz, okay? Therefore, the test will be, therefore, the test will be easy. So, ikaw, nag-reason ka na, nag-conclude ka na ng yung information as a general. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng mga susunod na quiz ay madali na. Okay? Sinabi mo kung na specific ka ng madalang quiz, therefore, nag-conclude ka as a general na lahat ng quiz ay madali na. Okay? So, how about the example for deductive? Okay? So, in regards to deductive from general, to a specific, okay? So, meron ka pang talahat ang information going to a specific, okay? So, this is the example. All math teachers are over 7 feet tall. So, sabi ko, lahat daw ang math teacher, okay? By the way, when you say, when you study deductive and deductive reasoning, it's okay to assume, okay? It's okay to get examples like this. Okay? So, lahat daw ng math teachers are over 7 feet tall. So, sana lahat nakapal. So, yun po ang ating general information. Mr. A is a math teacher. Ako po yung Mr. A. So, ako po ay math teacher. Therefore, nagkukulod tayo na specific tayo na si Mr. A is over 7 feet tall. Okay? So, let's have another example of inductive and inductive. Okay. Of course, nahin na natin ang inductive Again, from a specific into general information So, yung sabi na lang po na siya One idea going into all possible ideas Na lahat ng mga specific na yun Ay pangkalahatan Okay, so number 2 The teacher used PowerPoint in the last few classes Okay, the specific Data here is gumamit si teacher ng PowerPoint sa kanyang klase. Okay? Therefore, ang ating general, as pagpunta mo tayo sa general, inaasahan natin na ang teacher will use PowerPoint tomorrow and kung tinignan natin, makasabang ang araw ka. Okay? The teacher used PowerPoint in the last few classes. Therefore, the teacher will use PowerPoint tomorrow. Okay, that's that kind of reasoning is inductive. From specific to general. How about deductive reasoning? Okay, so from general to specific, the general information is all oranges are fruits. Sinabi po niya na lahat po na uh, orange ay frutas. Okay, that's general information. Of course, we don't know that orange is sometimes color, okay, sometimes juice. Okay, so all fruits. Grow on trees. Okay, it's specific. Or uh, it's specified po siya ng isang facts. Lahat po ng fruits ay nag-grow sa trees. Then, therefore, all oranges grow on trees. So, naging specific po na ang orange, hindi lahat daw ng orange ay nag-grow sa home. Okay, here we will solve a logic puzzle. So, I use this table in order for us to get, easily get, or easily determine 
who is the editor, who is the butler, who is the chef, and then is among four neighbor food. Okay? From this following clues, we will determine the occupation of the four. Okay? So clue number one, gagamitin po natin, gagamitin po tayo ng X para mag-determine po natin. Ibig uh, sabihin, gagamitin po tayo ng X, ibig sabihin, pag nalagay po natin ng X, hindi po sila yung may occupation na yun. Let's go check pa sila po. Okay? Clue number one, where really you get smoke from the word after the bunker, but before the dentist. Okay, so madali na po number one kasi sinabi dito na si Maria ay umuwi ng word pagkatapos umuwi ni or after the bunker. Okay, and before the dentist. So dito, malalaman natin si Maria is not the bunker. At the same time, hindi rin po siya ang dentist. Okay, so it's very easy. Number two, Sarah, who is the last to get home from work, is not the editor. Okay, dahil nung natin yung last part, si Sarah daw ay hindi siya editor. Okay, Sarah is not an editor. So let's put X, then nalagyan ko natin ng who. It means that clue number two ito. And we all know, sa clue number one, the bunker is not the one who gets home first? In the end, si Sarah will not be the bunker. Okay? Sarah will not be the bunker. So, I hope na hindi yan po natin yun. Number 3. So, dito po sa clue number 3, the dentist and Sarah leave for work at the same time. Guys, dentist and Sarah, sabay po sila iiwan ang kanilang work. Okay? So, it means that Sarah is not the dentist, okay? Because magkasabay sila. Sarah will not be the dentist. Clue number three. So, it is a TA. It is clear that Sarah is not the editor, not the doctor, and not the dentist. We can say, we can conclude that Sarah is the chef, okay? So, if Sarah is the chef, other positions like for Sean, Maria, and Ray, will not be the chef. Okay? So, hindi na po sila ang magiging chef. Okay? So, by solving or by the process of delimitation, we already know who that Sarah is the chef. Okay? Clue number four, the banker lives next door to Brian. It means that Brian is not the banker kasi nga magkakabi lang sila ng pinto. Okay? Or magkasunod. So, Brian is not the banker. Okay, Brian is not the bunker. Since Maria, Sarah, and Brian is not the bunker, obviously, siya will be our bunker. Okay, so, tapos na po natin ang apat na clues. Okay, ang apat. Ang titignan natin ay kung sino pa ang hindi natin nakikita ang aning occupation. Okay, obviously, si Maria, is not the dentist, not the chef, and not the bunker. It's a deal. Si Maria is the editor. Okay? Since si Maria ay editor, hindi na po pwede maging editor si Sean at the same time si Brian. So, let's put X. X na lang po yung na. Alam natin na si Brian ay a dentist. Okay? Brian will be the dentist and Sean is already a bunker. Okay, another example of solving the logic problem. So here, same po, meron po tayong hahanapin ng position. There are four positions, President, Vice President, Secretary General, and Chief of Staff. We have Kuguri, Vasquez, Martin, and Gray. So from William and Luz, isa-isahin po natin. And with the power of elimination, we will get kung sino po ang my position. Okay, start po natin ang ating mga clues. Again, let X be the symbol for and be the position we are talking about. Okay, so number one, Google and Vice President wants to share his name office 
and our best friends. So, obviously, si Uguri and vice president are different person. So, si Uguri will not be the vice president. Kasi nga pag-tailigan siya. Okay, number two, grade and shape of staff when on vacation together. So, ibig sabihin, si grade will never be the shape of staff. Kasi nga, dalawa sila. Okay, magkasama silang not vacation. Okay? So, here, Grade will not be the shape of stuff. Okay, so we can put it at X2. So, clue number two, yeah. Next, number three, Vasquez is the president's source of information, but the president does consult the grade. Okay, so it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of is the president's best source of information. Kung baga, si Vasquez or kung hindi na information or advice si President kay Vasquez yun. So, ibig sabihin, Vasquez will never be the President. Okay? So, we can put here X3. At ganun pa siyang kasunod. But the President does consult the grade. Again, si grade, hindi na po siyang magiging President. Kasi sa ito, ang President nito, hindi daw siya nagpo-consult kay grade. So, ibig sabihin, hindi po ay nagpagiging President B.C. Si grade. Okay? So, medyo kung makakina ang ating missing amount of time table. So, number 4, clue. Martin will run for the President for the first time in the next election. Okay? Obviously, may work to buy the first time. So, he, Martin himself, will never be the president. Kasi nga po, hindi pa siya naging presidente. Tatakbo pa lang siyang presidente. So, Martin here will not be the president. Kasi nga, next year pa lang siya tatakbo as president. Okay? So, Martin will not be the president. So, export po tayo ito. Obviously, alam na natin, kilala na natin ang president. Our president will be Uguri. Okay? So, from the clues 1 to 4, we can determine that Uguri will never be the Secretary General. So, hindi na po siya ang pagiging Secretary General. At the same time, hindi na po siya Chief of Staff because he is already the President. Okay? So, let's continue number 5. Uguri or the President in grade have never been friends and never been shared at office. So, mapapansin natin dito, si Gray daw, hindi daw sila nag-share ng office with the president. Ang titignan natin, ang clue number one, si Uguri at ang BP, nag-share po sila ng same office. Ibig sabihin niya, here, Gray will never be the vice president. Kasi, ang ka-share ni Uguri, Meron po siyang pa-share si Vice President sa isang office at sinabi po ito, si Uguri at si Ray, hindi po sila mag-share o never share an office. So it means, Ray will not be the Vice President. Okay? So here, Ray will not be the Vice President. Obviously, Ray is not the President, not the Vice President and the Chief of Staff. It is definite na si Gray ay ang Secretary General. Okay, if it is Gray, our Secretary General, all other positions are filled up. Okay, so hindi na po magiging Secretary General si Vasquez at the same time si Mark. So number 6, clue, Vasquez has always had an office of his own. Okay, tignan po natin. Si Vasquez daw, meron daw siyang saliling office. Okay? So, here, makikita natin, may saliling po siyang office. Si Uguri and Vice Presidents have shared same office. At talaga natin si Vasquez, meron siyang saliling office. So, yung sabihin, hindi kasama ni Vasquez si President Uguri kasi nga, Mag mayroong sariling office si Vasquez. Okay, I just wrap it for you. Uli ko, si Vasquez, mayroong siyang sariling office. Iko-connect natin siya sa information for clue number one. Sabi dito, si Uguri at si Vice President 
nag-share daw sila ng same office. So, it means that Vasquez is not the vice president. Okay? So, hindi na natin dito, Vasquez is not the vice president. So, obviously, ang magkaraman ng composition for Vasquez will be our chief of staff. At pag siya po ang chief of staff, si Marty na hindi na po magiging chief of staff. At ang magkaraman ng composition for Marty will be vice president. Okay? So, in conclusion, Uhuri will be our president. Okay? So, how about our vice president? Marty, our VP. Who is our second general? Our secretary general is Gray. And our chief of staff, is Vasquez, okay? Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you understand what is the kind of reasoning if it is deductive or deductive. We will see inductive. It is from specific to general. We will say deductive from general to specific. Again, additional for inductive. It is based on the given observation at pag sinabi naman ng inductive. It is based on facts. Again, we will solve a logic puzzle using this table and using or solving our clues and putting or getting the information through the power of elimination. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you understand. And if you have a question, feel free to comment your question in the comment box and I will take it and I will give you a reply or